Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So towards the end of July last month, I posted that Microsoft had confirmed a new known issue. Now, just a quick recap, because that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. That after installing the July 2024 security updates for Windows 10 and 11, and for Windows 11, that was KB5040442, and for Windows 10, the update was KB5040427, that you might see a BitLocker recovery screen upon booting your device. And this was a... Um, official known issue that Microsoft had posted on their known issues health dashboard page. Now I know I touched on this briefly in my Windows 10 and 11 update videos um, that I posted earlier today, but it's just a bit of a deeper dive into this issue because Microsoft now has updated the official Windows health dashboard page to indicate that this known issue now has been resolved. So if we just head over to that known issues health dashboard page, yeah, we can see resolved on the 13th of August 2024. And that's because the updates that rolled out um, for Patch Tuesday, as I mentioned earlier, for Windows 11, that was KB5041585. And for Windows 10, that was KB5041580. And both those videos will be linked down below and in the end screen. These updates actually resolve the issue, with Microsoft saying that the issue was resolved with Windows updates released August 13, 2024 and later. They recommend that you install the latest update for your device as it contains important improvements and issue resolutions, including this known issue. So this known issue has officially now been resolved, which was causing a bit of a headache for a lot of users. Now, something to take note of is that Microsoft says in this paragraph, that if you install an update released August 13 or later, you do not need to use a workaround for this issue because there was a workaround that I mentioned in that previous video. If you are using an updated, an update released before August 13, 2024 and have this issue, your device should proceed to start, start up normally from the BitLocker recovery screen once the recovery key has been entered and you can retrieve the recovery key by logging into the BitLocker recovery screen portal with your Microsoft account. And if you don't know how to do that, um, I'll leave this um, known issue health dashboard page linked down below if you'd like to click on that link. And the affected platforms were basically Windows 11, Windows 10, and Windows Server across the board. So good news is that the August security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 have finally fixed that BitLocker recovery issue after installing the July Patch Tuesday security update. So it basically took Microsoft a month to resolve that issue. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.